So what I did was I, I took Ender IO con and I energy, energy, con energy conduit. I hooked it into this energy acceptor from AE2, and from AE2, I, I, after that I went into um, an ME glass cable, and from that I went to ME chest, a charger, and an inscriber. Now technically, I, in order to, the order in which you make stuff in AE2 is you have to make a charger first. This allows you to place ordinary Certus quartz crystals in, inside there. Give it a few seconds. Wait for the change. Come on, come on. There you go. Okay, see how the, the texture changed a little bit? That is a char that is now a charged Certus quartz crystal. And it, 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 it takes very little power, but without this machine, you can't really do much else in, in, a, in AE2. Then you have to make an inscriber. And fortunately, I found, I think, four meteors. So I was able to get quite a few of these, these patterns. And I made a, a whole lot of, uh, of, of gold logic circuits. And that's how I made this ME chest, which I put, I put, where is it? There you go. I made one tiny little storage cell. Put this in the top. Uh, uh, no, sorry. It puts it in the bottom of the chest, and then you click on the top of it, and you get access to everything that's in the the, the storage cell. So th this is one. This is a one K storage cell, the smallest one, but it's equal to maybe like an iron chest worth of storage, depending on how much of quantity of certain items you want to put into it. So uh, some people actually don't build uh, ME chests when, when they get a chance, because uh, it's kind of. It's kind of small scale, but I find it's actually very valuable if you ever want to debug your storage and say, okay, well, this thing is kind of gummed up. Let me go back in and check it out and see if I see if I can um, uh, fix what's in this cell and make it a little neater. This is this is kind of like my, um, my, 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 my close focus lens for fixing my AE system. So, so right now, um, what am I doing? So I, I have the, the engineering processor, and what I need to build right now is this, an ME drive. <clears throat> so I need iron, and I need some more ME glass cable. I think I should be able to build that, because I have a couple of spare quartz fiber. And how do you make quartz fiber again? Uh, they, they changed the recipe in the, from the, latest, in the latest version of AE2 from one previously. You need quartz fiber. <laughs> Okay, so you need flux crystal. Cool. So I've got four. Nice. I probably should put a crafting table up here. And just sleep through the night. Oh, we all went to sleep. That was cute. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, you know, it might have been because uh, Eddie and I both were sleeping at the same time. Okay, so let me take two crystals and that. Make some more cable. I'm gonna need a lot of this cable. Uh, it's, it's gonna take a, a lot of off-camera processing to make make that happen. Let me just put this. I got so much junk. This is the reason I'm making this system in the first place because I've got so much junk to organize. Oh, you see up here? I so up here I took some mossy stone that I had left over from the roguelike because I tore part of that thing apart. And I just made a, a little um, a little, a little water uh, cell here, water, water bucket, water block. This is a block of water. I hadn't done my coffee yet if I hadn't I haven't told you before. Actually, hold on. <sighs> Much better. Okay, so I, I, I take the, the ME cable and I need a crafting table. I need to make one up there. A crafting table. Drop in two of those, two of those, and I need iron, which I, I think I, I, mean, I try to keep most of my iron in here. Unfortunately, I think I'm actually out at the moment. Gravel, tin. I really should look in. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I really, sh I really should look into installing. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, I did put some iron in into the sag mill because that is really awesome. And it, it not only is it ore doubling, it also gives you all kinds of cools of including silicon. This is actually the way to get uh, silicon for the your AE2 system. This this silicon replaces the one from from AE2. <clears throat> So very valuable. I, I make a whole bunch of these printed silicon printed silicon circuits. In general, when you're doing AE2. Make a, more than you think you're going to need because it will never be enough. I made, I think, 
12 logic processors, which is gold and silicon. I may just keep cranking them out over and over again, and it's not enough. I just I went through them just to make one what you saw upstairs. Not a, a whole lot of result there. Okay, so I've got some more iron. And I drop that in here. And we have an ME drive. This thing is going to be really handy. I can foresee I'm probably I might need more than one of these, but for now this should work. So I'm just going to drop this here, and take some more of that cable and just put it back here. Cool. So we now and now have a power drive. So I'm going to put in the the one storage cell that I have. Now the unfortunate thing is that once I put that in there, I can't actually access it. So now I need to make an ME crafting terminal. So, so, so I do. I did make a couple of these normal terminals, any terminals. So I have to turn it into a crafting terminal. So let's see what I have to make for that. And the difference between a normal terminal and a crafting terminal is that a crafting terminal has a crafting interface in it. So I just need a calculation processor, a crafting table, and a terminal. So I need a calculation processor. I need a calculation circuit, which is. A pure service quartz crystal. I have to make one of those, don't I? Okay, that's going to be fun. Okay, so that means I need to make a couple of these things. Crystal growth accelerator. So let's make, let's make two of them. Uh, I'm going to need quartz glass, some more cable, and some more iron. I have a little bit of quartz glass, but what's that thing in the middle? Oh, it, it's uh, four... It's nine pure or four crystal. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's make uh, like twelve of that. That I'd be careful because I actually lost this excavator. I I found I I found it out, out by the harbor, but I dropped it out there some somewhere somehow. Uh, what am I forgetting? Uh, oh, it's that's right. It's charged, so I need. It needs. Well, I'm gonna sit here, but. Just wait, wait for the change. It takes a few seconds. Uh, there you go. There you go. If you look at it long enough, you, you can kind of tell when it changes. It's, it's not the worst thing if you do it too early, but if you do it do too late, it's kind of a waste of time. Like I said, the funny part is it, it just barely takes any power at all. Just a little bit of time. And patience. So, how how do you make um, the, uh, the, 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 the the how you make the pure uh, crystal is you have to grow it. You have to grow it using uh, a water block that we saw up there. And if you want it in any time, a reasonable amount of time, you have to do it using crystal growth accelerators. And you do that by making more fluids. Oh, see that? Okay, as an example, this one didn't go through. Let me put that back in. There we go. Didn't didn't not, not quite long enough in the microwave. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So Eddie had a bit of a run in with a Thumbcraft killer node. Nasty stuff. What was one of the joys of Thumbcraft among the on those those freaking obelisks was actually killed me one time. Freaking Eldritch Guardian. I hate that kind of kick in the nuts. <clears throat> So I need, well, I need, I need some, net, some nether quartz, and I should still have some spare. I do need, uh, eventually I need to go back to the nether and make another trip. Wait, no, it's some more in there. Uh, I actually only have, don't have that much Certus quartz remaining. Uh, but I have been doing a, a fair, fair amount of mining with, with, with my Silk Touch hammer. So I should be able to move forward a bit. If I can find where I put the freaking crystal. Where is it? Oh, there's there's some iron. Uh, see, I, I mean, the, the, the Soren, um, who plays on uh, on Forgecraft Two, he would love this 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 area because this is basically all Soren chests, all of it. Okay, I I didn't know. <clears throat> okay, you know what? Let me show you a, a neat trick with with, with any eye. Watch this. Double click. <clears throat> and what you do is you, 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 with this yellow border here, it will search for anything in your inventory or any eye with, with, with that name. So I can look through here. Nope. And here. Nope. 
and it, it grays out everything it does not have what you search for in, in its name. Somewhat, somewhat, it's a somewhat quicker way to look for a specific item. I think there is a mod that allows you to search for a... Uh, it allows you to so search chests without opening them for stuff like that. But I haven't had much luck with that. And I am out. How in the hell am I out of, of crystal? Okay, so I, I'm going to make a quick trip into the nether. So I'll be right back. Alrighty then. So I thought I would record a little bit of my trip into the nether here. Not a heck of a lot to report. But uh, that's a good thing. Ever since they, they changed the way that... Uh, I'm not sure which mod actually does it, but somehow the way the way that uh, pigmen react whenever you mess with uh, any of their ores is a bit discouraging. I actually died a couple times for that. So I'm not sure, I think, this is in other words, I think some of this stuff actually explodes when you mine it. So that's why I'm keeping a distance here. So, is it? yep, it lagged, okay. Okay, I hear the pigment. He is angry. I have angered the pigment gods. And all I have is a battle wrench to, to defend me, so that's not great. What is that? Oh, another mithril. Hmm. Look at that. I really have not done... I really have not done very much. <clears throat> I really have not done very much with uh, with metallurgy. Mostly because it's, it's just a royal pain. I once looked at if you ever you want one want, want an exercise in uh, madness, look up a Grand Mineability Table. It, it, it's it's the the chart from metallurgy that tells you what can mine what and like the relative strengths of their materials. It's 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 okay. I don't want to go into too much detail, but I part of my job is in real life is to look at state education standards, basically the things that allow. Uh, textbook publishers to uh, set, legally sell books in certain states. You probably heard a thing called the Common Core. I am one of the people in charge of Common Core alignment. The Grand Mineability Table looks like makes the Common Core look like a cakewalk. Believe me, I think it's nuts. Okay, I believe I have enough nether quartz. How much did I get? Uh, oh, I got a half stack. Perfect. And and when you put a, a half stack of nether quartz into a sag mill, you actually get four times the the um, uh, the, the, the the nether quartz. So we're gonna head back out. I'm kind of curious where we're gonna end up, really, because there's a couple of portals that are too close together for comfort. There we go. So I believe I think this is actually Darcy's place. Uh, please correct me. Who, whose place is this? Because this is the one that is actually connected to somehow our spawn town portal. It's a little bit close. Nothing you can do about it at the moment, but eventually I, I do want to get uh, the EP3 set up so we don't have to worry about that. I gotta say, this looks really nice though. So little little um, uh, forged micro, micro, micro blocks. Very cool. It is actually, this is actually, the weird part is that it's actually pretty far away. I mean, my, that's the MF station, 200 meters, 400 meters away. The the MF or uh, Magical Forest Station is the little harbor where, where my um, my base is located. That is like 400 meters south of, of uh, Spawn Town. So this thing is 800 meters south. So that portal should not be picking up from the Spawn Town. So I don't understand really what's going on with that thing. I'll look into it when I get a chance. So let's head back to not my MF station, but back to the lair. Drop off the stuff in the sag mill and let it process. Useful little thing about the sag mill, you can actually put in flint and it gets consumed over time. But what it does is it increases main output and uh, okay, main output, bonus output, and uh, power reduction 15%. Our reduction. Okay, so it costs more power, but you get more product. So I'm fine with that, considering all my all my power is basically free. I'm just gonna drop that in there and let let it process for a while. I also got some nether copper. That'll be useful. So it's, 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 it's gonna wait, wait a few seconds for the first uh, part of it to process. I only need a couple, but might as well get more. I also got some bloodwood while while it was in there. U useful stuff. But what, by the way, also happens to drop redstone, so I got some more of that. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I, what I'm using as, as transportation right now are, are these um, 
a strong box and a satchel from Thermal Expansion. They're not bad. I mean, I gotta say, they're not bad. I personally, I still prefer the backpacks from uh, Backpacks mod, but these aren't bad because they, because they're upgradable. They're, they're just just like um, the uh, Let's Go en Energy Cell, just like most things from Thermal Expansion, they do have tiers. So these are actually reinforced. Though this is uh, basic, hardened, reinforced. These are the third of four tiers for these boxes, so they get a decent amount of space. Uh, for, for what you invest in. There we go. So now I got another quartz. <clears throat> so let's go upstairs. And those of you who haven't seen this before, this is actually kind of cool. Those of you who have seen this before, it's like, oh, he's just he's just going to go make some, some Fluix crystal. So what you do is basically just drop everything. And you can do it one at a time. Actually, do it one at a time at first. So one nether quartz, one redstone, and one charged uh, Sirtis quartz crystal. After a few seconds, bloop turns into two flukes crystals. So I'm just going to put the, drop the rest in there. It has to be in equal parts of these. There we go. A little bit of a lag there. But there we go. 24 flukes crystal. That will be very useful.